Hi Aquarius, I hope you're doing well. So we'll be looking at whoever you're thinking about here for the rest of the year. So let's look at how you're being perceived by the opposite sex or same sex, whatever is your preference. We have Ace of Swords, King of Wands. It's beautiful energy. I love to see the Ace of Swords next to the King of Wands. King of Wands on its own, depending on what it's paired next to, can be a bit of a player, someone with a wandering eye. But in this case, I'm seeing it's more your um, positive traits are being highlighted and that you're a very strong communicator, charismatic, witty, you're good with your words and you excite, you uplift others uh, with your words. So that is how others are seeing you, uh, someone who's honest, you're straightforward, and you're extremely intelligent. You know what you want and you go for it. It's beautiful, sexy, and attractive with integrity, really. Um, it's beautiful. So you're being seen in a positive light here. Okay, your attitude when it comes to your love life. We have seven of wands, eight of wands, a little bit defensive. And a lot of you, the seven of wands seems to be stemming from someone you were at odds with here in the past. So a lot of you, you could be coming out of a difficult breakup, separation, or just someone you were dealing with and things didn't really um, pan out the way you had thought. So there is some difficulties, but you've been learning valuable lessons. So I don't think you trust easily, but you are open um, to mingle, to get to know new people because we also have eight of wands, Mercury and Sagittarius. So that is fast movement forward, sometimes is known as Cupid's arrows, but I'm sensing excitement. I think you're looking forward to what is coming next. There's optimism here, excitement. Some of you may be traveling or you're getting to know new people online, right? Definitely eight of wands can be social media. Some of you it can be online dating, but you're open to conversation. Ace of swords and Mercury and Sagittarius. You're very expressive and a great communicator. You don't really have issues when it comes to that sector. You never run out of things to say. So you're a very exciting, passionate lover is what I'm getting. But yeah, there's a tiny bit of uh, hesitation here. Um, guards are up, but it's something to do with your past is what the cards are indicating. Perhaps if you had a tendency to rush into situations in the past, um, you're applying a more cautious approach here moving forward. Okay, Aquarius, your positive traits as a lover. We have three of swords, the high priestess. Well, you have wisdom. I'm getting you've been through a lot of ups and downs, your share of heartbreaks, and you've learned valuable lessons from whatever pain you've been through. So I see you having spiritual knowledge. You're very uplifting. As I was saying, you're good with your words. So yeah, your partners really appreciate your support. You're able to provide comfort when your lovers are in emotional distraught. You have a lot of experience is what is coming through. So through your spirituality, through your intuition, your sensitivity, you're able to maneuver through difficult situations easier than others is what I'm seeing. You always have the right thing to say to do. You know what to do is what I'm getting. But yeah, your strong emotional support for your lovers is what I'm seeing. Your negative traits as a lover, we have Knight of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Knight of Swords. And you pick up on what I'm another positive trait I'm getting for you, Aquarius. You pick up on others' emotions very easily. You have an easier time reading others. So you know that, you know what example I'm getting is if you ask someone what's wrong, they say nothing, right? They're hiding their pain. They're repressing some negative emotion. You're, be, you're able to pick up on that. You're extremely, some of you can be psychic, but yeah, very much in tune. You can read others like a book. It's crazy. So don't doubt yourself because your negative traits as a lover, we have King of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Swords. You doubt yourself. You second guess yourself. And that is the issue. Your initial nudge 
that instinctive feeling is usually on point. So we're needing to trust ourselves more um, when it comes to relationships. So as a result of you second guessing, doubting yourself, you may take a lot of time here to make up your mind with the Knight of Pentacles. That can be someone who's dragging their feet. Um, there can be hesitancy in terms of you know, change. So it can be sticking to your comfort zone. And sometimes another, this won't be for everyone. I'm getting a few messages. Sometimes you may repress what you are wanting to say, what is truly on your heart out of fear of hurting another's feelings. And they're saying, don't say it right there and then, be honest. Because that is your best quality that others appreciate, right? Your honesty. So don't hold back. And those of you that identify with being a workaholic, uh, that can be a bit of a negative trait where you're gonna have to um, find some sort of balance, right? Time management here. But yeah, spending more time with loved ones, those close to you. So if there is a tendency to be very much immersed in your work, your projects, so that is something you'll have to work on here because King of Pentacles can be a businessman, businesswoman, right? It's all about work, the mundane, practical. So find that balance. How you can overcome this, we have Queen of Cups, the star. <laughs> this goes back to that scenario where I was saying you doubt yourself. They're saying your intuition is on point. Believe in yourself. You know what to do. Be more decisive is what they're saying and keep listening to your inner voice. It's, it won't lead you down the wrong path is what I'm seeing. Do you see how both of the Queen of Cups and the star, the eyes are closed? High Priestess, eyes are covered. Hermit, eyes are closed. And some of you, if you haven't been meditating, praying, that will be very beneficial for you as well. They're saying you'll receive a lot of guidance in times of solitude. When you're alone, you're being shown the way. I'm seeing spiritual protection here, Aquarius, throughout your reading. It's beautiful. What kind of lovers you attract or have attracted in the past? We have Sun, Two of Swords. People that can't see past themselves is the first thing I heard when I laid out that combination here, Sun, Two of Swords. It's I, me, myself. Um, people that like to be center stage, they like the spotlight to be on them, right? They're blocked off. Some of them can be emotionally unavailable. Let's get more clarity here. But the positives of this can be people that are confident, right? They know who they are, but there's a tendency to be a bit egotistical where they're not willing to look at your side of things, right? So you may be attracting people that are stubborn and clinging to their point of view. They're not flexible. That's the more negative. Why is Sun here? Two of Wands. Yeah, did you happen attracting people you have strong connections with, emotional bonds, soulmate? But it seems that these situations don't progress, right? And I'm seeing distance or travel here in your past relationships. Perhaps you attracting opportunities that are far from you, which is why things move at a turtle's pace for some of you. I'm, I'm getting that same message. These people, you know, they don't take into consideration your relationship, you, when it comes to making plans for their future, it's all about themselves. I'm getting selfish energies for a lot of you, is what you've been attracting. What you need to attract, we have Wheel of Fortune, Four of Pentacles, the Hermit, people that are flexible, that are willing to change, grow with you, right? And people that can help you come, um, come out of your comfort zone here as well. Because Hermit Four of Pentacles can be a very secluded, isolated energy, right? Someone who's in their safety bubble. So someone who can introduce movement, change, and help you experience a new world. Give you a new perspective on things and vice versa, right? But I'm definitely seeing that your guides are wanting you to attract someone who will introduce change. Why? I'm not sure. <laughs> but that is what is coming through. 
especially if you've been stuck in a rut. I think some of you may be attracting someone who's very different from you in terms of background, personality, but they'll really broaden your horizons is what I'm getting. When you may meet your new love, we have five of wands. Well, five of wands, five can be made, but I'm not really getting anything. What I am seeing is that you do have options if you are actively dating. Some of you may be even getting to know someone online, eight of wands. There may be text messages back and forth. When will Aquarius singles meet their new love? When will Aquarius singles meet their new love? Spring. Okay, some of you, I believe spring is April, May, June, right? Wow, some of you, it's not far from now. They're saying it take one day at a time and it's rushing in. So I think it's not far from now. When will Aquarius singles meet their new love? Oh, why did you do that? What fell on the ground, Aquarius, was the time is right. So spring, the time is right. When will Aquarius singles meet their new love? Some of you are definitely can be made, but don't get too hung up on timing. It's a general reading. And even in personal readings, it's difficult to predict timing in just a few days. Wow, some of you may know this person that will be your new love wow look at that bottom deck energy may that's crazy spring the time is right in just a few days and may okay aquarius who this person is we have ten of wands strength ace of pentacles this person's so frustrated for one they take on more than they can handle they're extremely busy and overwhelmed overworked they need a break i'm sensing a lot of frustration this is a very strong individual uh, mentally emotionally maybe even physically right because in the no other decks we do have that figure carrying up the 10 wands right up the hill so you do need physical strength to carry those wands so it can be but overall i'm getting a strong-willed energy um, this person is very compassionate they're always lending a hand but they need to learn how to prioritize and they need to learn how to say no because sometimes the burdens they take on right it's not their burdens it's other people's so that is something perhaps you can help them with but yeah they they're, they're very work focused extremely hard working individual some of you this person does something um physical labor is coming through or they may work with their hands they need to use their hands they build something along those lines but extremely dedicated hard-working individual so i did ask because i you know when i asked about the personality i did get a lot about their work and how overworked they are they're very drained they need a break so i did ask what is their attitude when it comes to love we had hangman the fool and king of cups so we have Pisces here twice. We have Cancer, Scorpio, and Aries come through. This person's um, going with the flow right now. Um, they're in no rush. They're patiently waiting. They are wanting. They're seeking a new beginning when it comes to their love life, right? Because we have the baby here. It's almost a childlike energy when it comes to their views on love and attracting Um I think this person believes in soulmates is what I'm getting with Pisces. So I think they have that hope that there is someone out there for them, regardless of what they've been through. They've had their fair share of lessons here as well. I'm getting with Hangman, but they are growing and they're ready for a new beginning and their heart space is open. Aquarius, King of Cups, they're ready for you. This person has a lot of love to give to the right person. They're very uh, flexible and open-minded. This person doesn't discriminate is what I just heard. So, yeah, I don't know. Some of you, it may be. There will be differences here and you'll have to compromise, work together. Let's get some Oracle cards for their energy. Aquarius. 
Only a single is new mama. Who is Aquarius Singles New Love? I like your person's energy. It's very positive. And I like that they're emotionally available, which is very nice. Look at that. Teamwork. How beautiful is that? Some of you may meet through work. We also have power couple. Team, work, and power couple. Yeah, you both are a bit. Some both of you can be workaholics or you will build an empire together. It's almost that Emperor Empress vibes or their strong potential here. We have whatever you lack, they got you, and vice versa. You have found your teammate in love and in life. Yeah, your next person will be a team player. They'll want to work together with you. Let's get one more. Who is Aquarius Singles? New love. Oh. Online connection. Yeah, didn't I mention that? Some of you are getting to know someone online. So this will start off as friends first. And you don't see this coming. And who is this blast from the past? A love triangle you were stuck in. I was getting that with the Seven of Wands. Someone from your past. But whoever is your new love, I don't see that as the past person. But it is a general reading. So listen to your intuition. We have unforeseen love. You might meet or know someone who you will grow to love, turning friendship into a relationship. Yeah, this will be unexpected. Someone online will spark your interest. Just be sure to check if they are who they claim to be. Yeah, friends first, take your time with this one, right? Is what your guides are saying. A lot of you, it's online. You will be celebrating when you meet this person. Yeah, you'll be very happy when it comes to... They will be timid in first meeting. Yeah. How you'll know this person is your next one is because they're very timid. They'll be shy around you. Four, four, four. So some of you may be seeing that number sequence, but fours talk about stability. Some of you may, um, you know, you meet them online and then you will go out for drinks, dinner, coffee, whatever you like, is what I'm seeing. They are hot. Yeah, you'll find this person to be very attractive. Yeah, you may meet up for drinks. Those of you that don't resonate with that online, you're not into that. They're saying social gathering or in a group of people and it may be with people you already know so some sort of celebration this person will stalk you yeah wasn't it saying um unforeseen love we have uranus unexpected you cannot predict this meeting yes yeah, so it'll come out of nowhere even if it is online, I don't think you see this coming. Some of you, it can be. Because we have June 2023, so it can be spring next year. But a lot of you, it will be this year. Right? Yeah. But they are very attractive. They're exactly your type. Is what I'm seeing. What advice do you have for Aquarius singles right now? What advice do you have for Aquarius? Happy times, how beautiful. This is my favorite card here in the deck. You're entering a happier cycle. You did the work and overcame so much. Yeah, I was telling you, three of swords. You've been through some heavy cycles here. Now it's your turn to receive in a major way. It's time. You've had enough lessons. What advice do you have for Aquarius singles? You're entering a happier cycle when it comes to your love life. But don't doubt yourself, right? Let's keep listening to your intuition. And they're saying work out. 
It's time to shape up, work out, eat well, and sleep well. You'll thank me later once you start to see the rewards of your hard work. And speak up, wasn't I telling you? Sometimes you hesitate. For whatever reason, don't. Say it like it is. But yes, singles, happy times ahead, a happier cycle is approaching you. It's already here and they're wanting you to work out. Keep your vibration high because you're attracting a king or a queen, right? It's not a page. It's not a knight. You're attracting a king, a very powerful energy, someone who's mastered the suit of the cups, which is telling me this person's very emotionally intelligent and they're just perfect. They won't be overtly emotional or clingy, but they'll always be there for you, right? I'm seeing emotional security with this person. So there's a strong potential here. Let's see, what is the potential outcome between Aquarius and this person, King of Cups? What is the potential outcome? Look at that. I don't make this up. Do you see that, Aquarius? Six of Wands, the Hierophant. This is a marriage. People around you will be cheering you both on. They'll be very supportive of you and this relationship. I see solid commitment. I see victory. This is what you're attracting. So keep doing you. Keep being positive. Keep focusing on yourself. Six of Wands, heart, marriage, victory, success. And some of you is... This combination for me is making your relationship public or, you know... Signing some sort of legal agreement really is what is coming to mind. I'm seeing a marriage celebration, if I were to be completely honest. But not everyone will want marriage, right? So it can be just being loyal to one another, right? There's victory, there's success because you feel you found a teammate. You found someone that gets you. They support you, your beliefs. And they encourage you to shine. This is not someone who wants to outshine you, right? With some people you were attracting, it was all about them. Not this person. They'll be encouraging you to be the best version of you, which is why we have teamwork. Okay, I'm blabbering on, Aquarius. You get the point. <laughs> Although I was late in getting your reading to you, it does seem to have the most promising outcome. So there's much to celebrate, which we also had. You'll be celebrating when you meet this person. But yes, Aquarius, that is what I have for you. Take care of yourself, and I will see you next week. Bye.